Welcome to the 3SN Road to the Final Four podcast series, where we break down each and every conference tournament on the way to the big dance to see who will get the automatic berth and who's going to be left dancing by themselves. Because before we can fill that field of 68, we need to first get through those conference championships. I'm James Dotson here tonight. We want to look at the SWAC, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and we will have a new representative from the SWAC in the NCAA tournament this year. That's because last year's champion, the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils, they've been banned from postseason play due to APR issues. Similarly, Arkansas Pine Bluff, who was actually the third best team in the conference this year, is suspended for APR as well. Furthermore, this year's regular season champions, who should be the number one seed, Texas Southern, they are banned from postseason play because of football and basketball scandals that have been ongoing for nearly two decades, according to reports. So there's lots happening in the SWAC conference, not much of it very good. As for those who are competing in the tournament coming up, you have to start with the now number one seed. They finished second in the regular season, but the one seed in the tournament, Southern University Jaguars. They went 21-9 and this season and are led by a pair of prolific scorers. Both Malcolm Miller and Derek Beltran averaged 16 points per game for the Jaguars. Javon Mitchell, uh, Jameel Grace, they averaged 9 points per game as well. So it's a pretty balanced attack. There's really nothing excessively flashy for Southern University. Just a balanced attack from top to bottom, and it's paid dividends all year round. Now, the number two seed, actually the fourth in the conference rankings, boasts a great 10-17 and 17 record. That's sad, isn't it? The number two team in this conference, and every team below them, has a losing record. They actually lost 14 of their first 15 games this season. But, they did finish 9-3. and three. So Jackson State, you know, they could be something to keep your eye on. They battled through some injuries, they had a tough beginning, some heartbreaking finishes, but I think Jackson State could be onto something here. Kelsey Howard has been very huge lately. He averages 15 points per game on the season. And between him and Christian Williams, I think the Tigers could surprise some people. The safe pick is to go with Southern University. However, to battle back from such a terrible beginning, Jackson State makes me think, it might just, I think they're destined for a big march. I'm going to go with the Tigers to win the automatic bid, heading to the first four with that losing record. I just have this feeling that they're on a roll, they started weak, now's the time to go. Oh, and also for the record, before I sign off, Grambling State, I'm sorry Grambling fans, Grambling will not win their first game of the season. They will finish as a zero-win team. I apologize, they have a chance, but I don't see it happening. Well, that's it for breaking down the Southwestern Athletic Conference Championship. Follow us on Twitter at 3S Network and keep tabs at 360sportsnetwork.com as we fill out your bracket, analyze all 68 teams, and make your way to filling out, hopefully, a perfect bracket for that field of 68. And your office pool hopefully should be a winner. For 3SN, I'm James Dotson. Have a good night, everyone.